so I'm just on, I'm on the cusp, not the cusp, cusp is before, the tail end of that shipbuilding video, which I didn't even want to publish, but my brother insisted. And, um, <clears throat> I got a few more mods, I will probably put them in a text edit, because I forgot a few of them, but one of them is enemies now level with me, uh, a little bit more appropriately, like a one to one ratio. Although I wasn't seeing like 97s and 98s, I'm seeing, it's like they, they come in blocks of like five. It's not telling you, but like these should be like level 100. Oh, okay, they're seven, that's 72. Uh, my gun is spitting out elemental effects because of another mod. I think I might remove that just because it's great for when they get close. but not great for what's supposed to be my sniper. Oh, well. <clears throat> but I'm doing this mission even though Whoa, you've seen this already. Than I thought it would be. But I got a, a reskin for my Hyper Guardian armor, so well, I look I like this now. Right now. I would pick a spot just like this to hide so the good pretty, stuff. pretty cool. Um, I've also got a reskin for the Exile armor as well, and that's a little bit more viewable. He's wearing the Pathfinder stuff right now. Got a mod that al actually allows me to upgrade um, the modded armors. Well, this isn't gonna last long. Okay, I, I really gotta remove that. I can't see the enemy. But, um, as I've claimed in the previous, when I beat the game, um, follow-up games are going to be a little bit more freeform. <clears throat> I beat the main story on camera, so... There's no reason to... Oops, I just picked up a jumpsuit. No reason to keep rehashing that. Stuff's a bit more spongy, but that's why I have this. There we go. Now that's an appropriate um, weapon mod for this one. Oh, Barrett wants to talk to me, probably to keep keep going with his quest. I romance Sarah, but I have um, got Barrett following me around to do his like loyalty quest. <clears throat> It's not really a loyalty quest, it's just how I think about it, because... It's kind of how they are. Companion quests, I guess, is the right term. After we're done here, I do want to show off something. that now, after all these years, this uncrewed, nearly destroyed ship is still dangerous. I know now is the best time, but I need to talk with you later. So I will be skipping some dialogue here, because I just kind of want to get to it. Not that there's a lot of dialogue here. Actually, you know, this, this quest isn't going anywhere. I can just do it now. So, <clears throat> I did a lot more exploration in this game um, than I have before, just kind of playing around. with, Especially with a material production. I've got three of them up. And I've actually named them appropriately. Do I did I have one on here? Thought I did. Maybe not. Oh, they okay. There's two here. For example, I think this is my adhesive one, and I've named yeah Cactus Farm. And it took some doing to figure out how to link stuff, and I still don't know how to link 
outposts together. So I have 201 adhesive waiting around. So this this bad boy, I got okay. It's got plenty of water in it. I've got two water production things feeding into that, and that feeds into this, which just spits out adhesive into that. Like there's nothing to do actually like inside, so it's mostly just aesthetic and just like if you want to wander in here and get screenshots or something, but so now I will not want for adhesive. Yep, you can do one of the you can do sealant is also a pretty good one to have, but I got plenty of that I believe. Like I think um Okay, so I put the alien egg here to, like, experiment. Like, I don't know what this actually does. So I'm going to take that back. <clears throat> and the inside of that doesn't matter. There's not much in there. Just a little base for me to dive into to craft weapons and such. And I got three of these. We're not going to be doing this for very long. Where's the other one? Is it on the moon? It is on the moon. Aluminum. And this is helpful for me to stop by anyway. It's been long enough. I have something for you. So there's nothing to this outpost. It's just that and this. 800! Yeah, that would, that'll do it. <laughs> so I've only got two of those going. Just on, on the aluminum plane. Yep, it's produced two, just me standing here. I do have a little bot, which I think increases that by 10%. So right there in the uh, Jemison, your home system, essentially. And then I got another one over here, and I have another one, which I don't think does much. Talk you on three outposts. Do I have? I didn't name it, so that's probably just my whatever outpost. Hey, you might want this. Okay, this is not the one that's producing anything. I should fix that. Neon, I could use neon. Oh, I have it. It just hasn't. I didn't. This was before I learned. That's Argon. I don't really need Argon. So this was kind of before I learned how to, like... There it is. I is Neon a solid? I'm just gonna make it go to the warehouse. Output. Loud. Okay, so it's it's a specific kind that I don't know. Okay, so if it's not a liquid, it's not a solid. I guess argon is a gas. I didn't know how much that was needed until just now. That will go just in there. All right. <clears throat> I should name this one ne the Neon <laughs> Neon Argon Post. Rename. Okay, there's one more. I forget. Is it titanium or? Yeah, we'll find out. Forgot where. There it is. Uh, out of fuel range. Damn, that was far. Whoops. And go here though. Nope. 
Right here. It's not letting me go anywhere. There we go. I have something for you. Brother, can it wait? I also learned something else. Because I was doing a lot more exploration in this particular um, New Game Plus, I, I guess my advice is definitely go for the combat stuff first. But also, if you play this long enough, don't sleep on all the science perks. Because they help speed the process up. Which is, there's an argument that could be made, like, why should we have perks based on making the game shorter? But I'm talking like botany, scanning, geology, astrophysics. Um, I, I've, in my time off recording, I've that this has been kind of my focus with a little bit of um, this one as well. I didn't, I didn't know this existed. Four, five extra units of power would be great because even just looking at my systems, I could put, I could max out my missiles and then put the rest of it in my engine. So like five extra units of power would be lovely. Okay, so this is my titanium one. Let's see how much I got. Probably another like 800. Time, but I need to talk with you later. No, 400. Okay, I thought I put two down like I did the other one. Okay. So they are producing. And that's it. It's just it's just a cute little thing that I've been doing. Now, where is my narwhal? Right, let's go see what Barrett's got to say. Hey. Uh, store all my shit. Alright, I will not want for adhesive for a long time. You know, I bet I could sell a chunk of that and make some decent money. You know, I need <clears throat> this. Exploring the galaxy with you by day, investigating the mysterious legal woes of my long dead spouse by night. Basco never appreciated my humor that much. Hmm. Just to get people up to speed, I don't fully understand what was happening. His arc, um, he thinks his dead husband got framed for, I think, like a botched mining job or exploration job because his husband was in a constellation with him. So they were both members. So I think they were doing an exploration thing. And I forget what I forget if it was attached to a faction, because um, it's been like a day. Um, I spent most of yesterday kind of just doing my own thing. I've, a little bit of YouTubing, uh, did some shopping, so it's been more than twenty four hours since I've spoken to Barrett. Uh, so I forget, I forget the details. But without even me doing anything, I'm just talking to him over and over again. We haven't had to go anywhere yet, like we did with Sarah's or Andreja's. Um, he's investigating legal stuff in his own, on basically on his own time. Presumably, while on the ship, he's doing like zo um, Zoom calls to to deal with his legal troubles. But that that's what's going on here. It's just um, his the husband is deceased. I forgot how. I forgot his name. It was like Aaron or something. Irvin. Irvin, I think was his name. Um, he is deceased, which is why you can like flirt with him and romance him. That's why we saw the flirt option there. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I've forgotten so much and I feel bad. Because I kind of like... I like Barrett. I like his voice actor too. I think it's Three Dog and some other characters in Bethesda's line. I was just remembering how I'd pour my heart out to Vasco so many times. 
I told him all about Irvin. Irvin! He showed me a chart of how sad I should expect to feel. <laughs> he's just an idiot. Oh, he's not Ooh, so simple, disliked. actually. Oops. He wanted me to work on a social ritual algorithm with him. Believe it or not. Anyway, I'm glad you're here right now because we have things to discuss about Irvin's case. I heard back from my contact. They looked into Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Looks like they paid off the judge. And that's not all. My contact really came through for us. Turns out the witness was threatened until he withdrew his testimony. And thanks to our contact, we now have the receipts. I'm glad you're confident already. I'm not, though. I'm worried we don't have enough evidence to go up against a massive corporation like that. So I know a cyber runner who has accessed corporate archives before. They can dig into the classified archives before we go to a lawyer. We can pay extra for them to use less legal methods to obtain information. But that adds risk. Oh, nice. Oh, good call. I'll relay that to them. Reputation is pretty important for people who work with smugglers. Depending on what they find out, it might be time to talk to a lawyer. I'll see if I can find one. Whew. Taking on Hephaestus isn't going to be easy. And I say this as someone who's fought the Crimson Fleet. Maybe I should study up on the art of cross-examination. Might come in handy at the trial. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. I think our lawyer in Gagarin is the right choice. <laughs> and I win. Wait, does that mean I'm a good lawyer? I caught myself in a paradox, it seems. Anyway, let's go adventure. So his whole arc is basically cyber runner to get back giving to him us. money and doing persuasion checks. So far, we haven't actually had to go anywhere yet. What did you know? <clears throat> Which is interesting. But I wanted to show uh, this other mod in action. Have I ever seen this room? Oh, I usually just zoom past it, I think. Damn it. That's why you don't trust me to build ships ever. Because I don't know where I'm going. I think it's here. Yep, here we go. Just wanted to kind of show... Like, the mod that I got to do this, it's got, like, several, like, patches. I mean, I mean several. There's, like, 20 of them. And I don't know which ones to get, so I'm only running, like, two. Um, God, I don't even remember what it's called. By the text edit in the beginning of the video, we'll talk about it. Um, but yeah, let's look at the, like, I can take the Mantis suit and, like, go all the way. I could do it now, even. So, like, you see it has 100 physical resistance up there, and it can go all the way to 180 now. So, like, 68 energy to 148 energy, so... Yeah, that's just something I can do to, um... Spacesuits now. I can't do it to anything that's already modded. Like, the Starborn... I. I think the Starborn spacesuits get progressively more powerful as you do the New Game Plus. I don't know what their final form looks like. But, um... Yeah, like, even clothing. Damn, I could do Mark Six on my outfit right now, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. I could, I could afford it. I've got nine to seen. Yeah, fuck it. Yourself, isn't it? So, where's my Hyper Guardian? So, yeah, I got, well, I'm at 196 and it goes up to 212. But before I do that, I kind of want to see what the Exile suit looks like. Oh, hi, Sarah. I, I'm not big on the helmet. Helmet doesn't look quite like how I like it. <clears throat> so 
So this is recolored. It's a little bulky. I'm kind of okay with that though. The light, you know, for being somewhere where there's a bunch of light, the lighting here is kind of bad. You know, I'm kind of into it. I'm just not as into the helmet because the helmet doesn't fully look like it matches. There's not a lot of Banshee reskins yet because I like the Banshee suit. But I don't like... Um... The coloration, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. But this is the part I don't like. Like, I got the, the Splinter Cell reskin, essentially. Um, I gotta do the thing. Oh, you know what? It's kind of growing on me. The fact that it does glow a little bit. I just wish it was red. There is a black and red one, but I kind of I like the camo. The black and red one, I think it's just like jet black, while this actually has like... You can see some coloration on it. Ooh, I'm kind of into it. Let's see if I can uh, spruce it up. Beautiful. Take that helmet as well. Oh, I ran out. Your Europium is what I'm out of, but I can at least do the Mark V. Europium. Okay. most important thing is getting the reduced detection. Like, uh, the rest of this I could take or leave, but ballistic is useful. I never like taking this one because it adds so much weight, and weight is what gets me detected. Oh, it acts as a different skin. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna keep what I got on it. So, I need this one. That only adds six units. Eh. Looks like I did it though for this one. Damn, the Hyper Guardian is like so much better. I can help you with anything. A lot on your mind? Have something for me? Okay, I give her a Hyper Guardian suit. Well, she's about to get a hell of an upgrade. Twinsies! Leaving? I'll pick her up Very again nice when um, I'm done with Barrett's stuff. So that whole thing is also on weapons, and it's it's really fickle. It's like... Okay, so I can't upgrade it. I need Europe, European and Rothesite, so... And that's where some of this can get a little interesting. So first we're going to stop by our boy 
at neon. Single handedly keeping this guy in business. I wonder how deep the oceans are. The they seem impossibly deep. This guy gets made fun of for opening a mining business in um, an ocean planet, but he's actually very useful to me personally. Hello, hello my friend. Certainly, my. So, Rotha site and okay, European. That's what I, that's one of them I need. And okay, so we're a little short on the Roth. And now I want to see like quantity. Got a shit ton of aluminum that sells for nothing. Titanium doesn't sell for anything. Adhesive doesn't sell for anything. That is unfortunate. I thought that would have been a decent money maker. So. Oh shit. Plutonium could potentially sell well. Eh. I hope you have a glorious. So what did I just buy? So we got the European. We need Rothesite. So this is where. Looking around. It's probably not going to be here. I'm just looking at it. At it. All right. Let's go out of system. Let's. Let's go somewhere high level. Kang. Hey, you might want this. Oh boy. Where'd you go? Two of them. Ah, come on. Yeah, can't shoot behind you, can you, idiot? for Rotha site now this is the debatably the boring part of the game but I've spent many hours doing it and it's actually kind of relaxing once you kind of get used to it now, I don't know what Rotha site looks like like color wise so Yeah, I got a perk that gives me a certain percentage of uh, chance to just give me a planet trait, which in turn makes working on the planets quicker. I bet Rothside is going to be one of those with these like stars on it. There are times where I would um, scan whole systems, kind of doing what I'm doing right now. And then, like, get out of the menu and see that I have, like, I've got a thousand experience off of it. Because you get experience for discovering traits. So when you have that perk to automatically look at the traits, then that's a lot of experience at once. Okay. I don't think I have them all. I don't. It's this one in the back. No, it's not. Okay. 
this one. I gotta keep that word in my head, Rothus. Or, yeah. Oh, got a trait. Oh, there's a lot of here. Stop! Automatically, there we go. Antimony, that'd be useful. One planet that's evading me. There it is. Off the side here, that's fine. So, at a certain point, I do want to try the, the pirate quest line, and I kind of don't want to take a companion along for that because. I think they universally hate that. It's just something I've read. Just generally they don't approve. Nice. Got, got that trade already. I would have to land there to get all the resources. Iridium. Oh my god. What what is happening? I'm not I, like I didn't press anything. <clears throat> I need to look up what a gas giant is, and why can't ships land on it? Gas giants and ice giants, you can't land on them. It's like surely an entire planet is not just gas. Because then it wouldn't be a solid rock flying in the solar system. It would just be gas, but I'm also... Come on. I'm not a scientist. Vanadium is another one that I should probably get a mining outpost for at some point. Let me tell you, like, inevitably, I'm gonna have to, like, make a whole new game. Um, probably, like, when the creation kit comes out and, like, Vortex starts functioning with mod deployment, because I'm getting a mod deployment error. Like, mods cannot deploy, so I don't know how to deal with that. Um, but when the creation kit comes out, Um, presumably, modding might be more stabilized. There's a planet I'm missing, and I don't know which one it is. There you are. Now, there might be something on my end that I need to fix, but I am unfamiliar. You know what I'm worried about? Just real quick, let's see how much experience I just got for that. 1200 experience just for that. Um, I am, I, I do have a mod that I think boosts exploration experience. I'm worried that I need these perks in order to see Rothesite. And I've got a, I've got a little ways to go before I can level up. I'm I'm like over halfway, but that's it. I have so many perks I need. I need like eight perk points <laughs> to get everything I want right now. Which is precisely why I um 
I got all those experience booster mods. It's just when I have to level up all this stuff again, I'm like, what am I, how am I going to do it? Like, what am I going to sacrifice? I'm thinking I might not do a lot of the, like, the physical ones. Don't let go, damn. Stop backing out. Palladium, plutonium, vanadium. Yeah, I got an idea. Let's let's do do something here. Because Hello, Captain. We pose no threat here. Quite the opposite. I don't care. Our ship's full of the faithful. Sanctum universe. So I don't care. Happy to talk if you're inclined. Nope. Okay, they're sorted by what they are. That's good. Okay. So I can see the little star thing. So I have a little bit of Rothus, whatever the word is. Um, I don't see it though. Is it not? I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> I can never find my way to my crafting area in one go. No, it's, it's always up. There we go. Nope, that's incorrect. Hi, Barrett. Uh, for our next jump soon. I don't care. <laughs> I have to go down and then like around. No, nope, that's that's how, that's the landing bay. I'm so confused and lost. You would think how many hours I've spent in the narwhal, I would know this by now. There it is. I I always trip over it by accident. We'd love to talk. Rothis site is that oh so I don't have any anymore so I don't know what I can't find out what rarity it is I thought I had one you know what let's just do a thing help Roth and I'm only gonna add one because I just want to see its rarity and it might be possible that I just can't see it zero 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 two Eight D F one. That's it. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it legit. Okay. It is a four star rarity, and I think I'm only seeing three star ones. I think that's the problem here. We're due for our next jump soon. I still don't care. Hey there. Glad to see you again. I do like this armor. That's also from Andromeda, I think. They travel, stranger. Okay, so I might not be able to spot it at well no no no, there's a third. There's a three right there. I might be able to. But at least now I know what to look for. I'm just gonna keep an eye out on. I don't have to scroll over everything. But so far, I've only been seeing up to three. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Grab jump in progress. So where? Where did I go? Wha 
want no why why I didn't what I'm going all the way what when did that happen It's taking me back to where I came from. No. I wanted to push deeper into these systems. Place. I did not I don't remember selecting that at all. It just decided you're going yes. over here now. You know, if I do enough of this in one go, it might level me up to get that next inorganic perk. I, like, why? Mm, I'm holding R to scan for resources, and it, it keeps kicking me out into the screen. It's so weird. Okay, I think that's the problem. I think I can only see up to a certain rarity right now. So I need to do something that's going to get me experience. And I think I know what. I could um, go get more... Yeah, I could go probably go do this quest. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. I could also go do all of this. Oh, we could do this as well. Just dump my laser just a little bit. Not that this is going to be a lot of experience, but you guys have been watching me scan for a while, so... Maybe I should go do a quest now because that that was pretty hard. Okay, that was a level 50 system. Ooh, I don't know if I I don't know if my damage ship can handle it. I need something that's either going to get me a lot of experience or let me kill a lot of things very quickly. And I kind of want to just keep doing this one. Because that'll put me against um, Terramorphs, which is a, roughly 750 to 1,000 experience each. I wonder if life forms ourselves. And is that that, that final mission, you, fake, you, fake, you kill like six of them. Of other life. Do, 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 do. I don't know yet what dictates my ship getting the, the little red bits on my ship because You're screaming out there. You were on the other what I wouldn't yeah. give for fresh um, right now. Train of thought lost again. The red bits on your system management menu. I could go to a starport, tell them to fix my ship, and be like, oh it looks like you're fine. And I'll still have all those red bits. And I don't know what dictates 
get it. Okay. Finest supplies on the planet. Also, no better selection. Yeah, let's go. Take it. I, I, I know I lost my train of thought again. I, it, it happens. That's why I'm not a famous YouTuber. Um, I don't know what dictates those red things going away. Is what I, what, it took me a, a full minute to get that out. It's the tism. Oh, that was unnecessary. I want an outpost here. <laughs> I don't know if it, if you watch it, you remember my text edit saying like, "Come here at night because it's such a vibe." It's like a like a, a Terminator remnants. I'm into it. There's another series of mods that I was thinking about getting like 2k textures, but it's like three gigabytes per file and there's like nine of them and I don't want my, um, my save files to suffer from like bloat and like looking at this it looks fine because you're not really looking at it that close but I, th I feel like my starborn ship looks really low res for some re for whatever reason. Alright, we're skipping this. Cause if you've been watching my videos, you've seen all this already. Major Sanon, although additional support allowing me to... Excellent. Kaiser, I think... I am suggesting... Follow me. There are times where my, like... My views get a little weird. It's like out like episode one will have like twenty views, and then the second and third episode will have like three views, and then episode four will have like six hundred views. <laughs> like I've seen that before in some of my series. Like my episode one of Starfield has blown up. It's got it got caught on people's recommendations, so it's got like fifteen hundred views right now. Maybe not that much. I think it, it might be a little bit lower. It was it was a two or a five, maybe twelve hundred. But then of course it drops off heavily because I, it just pops up on people's recommendations. People s will skim it for like two or three minutes and be like, ah, it's not my thing. Oh, uh, like oh, there's no commentary here. Alternatively, it might be the fact that the I have no commentary is what got them to view it. I am detecting Unit 99, but there is a complication. Unit 99, sensor situation, a mercenary standard procedure. Very well. I usually let him just go in there and just be a distraction, but I'm, I'm, I mean, look at me, I'm Splinter Cell, so let's do this. Cheeky little quick save, phase time. I'm still not quite there yet. So I want I want to I want to hit like multiple targets in in the midst of the, my face time. I want like two or three of the guys in my crosshairs, like so. Yeah, this will do. Still don't know where I am. That's awesome. I 
forgot to remove this mod. Oh, it makes me like not be able to see the enemy. I'm not getting my sneak attack anymore. That was gorgeous. That's the best I've done. I've done this three times. That looks cool. You know what? Just for giggles, let me take that and see if I can edit, uh, upgrade it up. One thing I did notice when I installed this mod, and I'm okay, I'm okay with it. It's a side effect, but guns aren't worth as much because a lot of them start at like yeah, quality level three instead of like where the really high levels. Now I'm okay with it, um, strictly because it means my, I make money too fast in this game. Like I could, like I still can. It'll just take longer. But just like go do a few, um, a few side missions, sell some weapons, and then I can buy the narwhal. My first playthrough, I really had to work for that narwhal um, because I wasn't. It was it was throwing me like basic maelstroms for so long. Makes me wonder how I'm gonna do it when I inevitably have to do a full whole full new game. I did it. Finished. Now, a plague. You are done. We did it. Like I'm down to 90k because I spent so much on my ship. <laughs> that that shitty ship. Well, no, I didn't spend too much on that. Ah, this world may seem no, dull, but something. I can't think of any world that truly is. Every world but I, I bought like two other ships just to... I'm kind of going for that have ten ships achievement, but ships are expensive. They're so much. Oh, you know what? I need to go on an ammo buying spree to get ammo for this thing. This is basically my hardest hitter this year. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. Hmm. Londinian. Doctor, I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves. They could even be right here. There's a mod that I want to try that makes these things a little bit more terrifying. Right now, it's like they're just kind of bullet sponges. And I don't want to make them more spongy. I kind of just want to make them more dangerous. Um, in my... 90, 100 hours that I've got played, I don't think I've been hit by one yet. And that's the problem. They need to be a little faster. It's like they can be very you agile, it's just they haven't gotten to me yet. Apparently, they were blood. But when the UC... We thought they were heart. But in the data, as you can see, what we're proposing, it, we'd breed populations of using a method
We could speed up. Gorgeous looking we animal. Even think, find out how humanity. If you pick a fight with one, or you're a terramorph, as livestock. I really think it could. Now, a microbe. Something we could. It'd still take. Well, so. Both plans are. Terramorph cell or sharpen. Not the sort. But we think we found. All path. Exactly what I was hoping. Now, we're cleared for. I'm gonna help Percival and. But you need to know. They'll have anti. Yeah. Okay. So the problem is the ammo for this gun is expensive as hell. Oh, this. You romanticize it. Now you. No. I don't much care for my sister's kids. Of course. Yeah. I don't need any of this. The rifle. Hmm. All right, well. Those Max Shear fifty MI. He has nothing. All right, get that shit out of here. Well, I gotta get that crap in my. Oh, that one I want to keep to upgrade it. Okay. We're not going to Londinian. I'm going to go on an ammo run. <laughs>